So I'm back over at Chute, picking up some firewood. This old oak, oak here that's been down for some time and decided to uh, be a good time to clear it up. It's about 20 inches in diameter and she came down in a storm some years ago. And uh, I've just been using the R17, the partner R17, that old saw. I thought this would be a good chance to use the uh, crane and the winch combination that I made for the log splitter. So I put this uh, receiver here on the on the corner of the trailer, which seemed to be about the strongest place for it. And she just held in there with a couple of pins and um, R clips. So that just sort of slots on on there, and then the R clips, uh, sorry, the pins go through, one there and one there. And that's probably the strongest sort of place on the on the trailer, really. And although it's not painted yet, there's the winch and the um, and the uh, crane arm. I'll show you that setup now. I wanted something that was fairly easy to handle and um, that I could use it on different um, bits of kit. So I have a fairly low position there, or I can raise it up if I need the extra height, which I don't think I really need today. And I simply have a, a locking tab at the back here that I can, it swivels around and I can, um, I can lock it in that position. And I'll show you how I fit the the winch on now. So this is a fairly sort of standard super winch. I think this is a fairly light duty one, about 2,000 pounds I think, or 1,600 pounds, which is about 800 kilos, which is more than half a ton, so it's plenty for what I need. I made this little bracket up so that it can hook onto a, a tow bore and I can use the vehicle as, a, uh, as an anchor really for it, just if I need to drag the stuff across the floor. And this is fairly straightforward. That hooks on there, that goes on there. Pin goes through there, and that's the linch, the winch, should say, now locked onto the bottom of the crane. And then I have these little, I don't know if you can see those, these little hooks here that I've made up. And what they do is, um, I don't know if you can see those, can you see those? Yeah, just about. Let me just show you those. So there's these little hooks, so so essentially the cable just uh, you hook it under there, and then it just keeps the keeps the cable in line with the pulley. Not so important here on this corner one, but more important on the end. And on the end here, I have the cable that um, is kept in line with the pulley, kept onto the pulley through with that little hook there, and then it goes through this little kind of receiver. Now that was kind of tricky to work out. Focus. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of tricky how to work out that. So I welded a nut on, cut, sliced a slot with an angle grinder and an angle so that the cable, you can feed the cable through, but once the cable is actually in, it doesn't come out. Uh, that was the theory and it seems to work. It hasn't, hasn't come out yet anyway. My winch was donated to me and it came without a control uh, pack or no, you know, no control relay. So I made up a box with, um, some 230 volt, oh no, some 12 volt relays in there. So basically some relays. And then for power, um, I carry this little um, power pack, it just basically has a car battery in there. And I plug that in with these, uh, these Anderson plugs here. Now I do have one of these um, Anderson plugs on the, the log splitter, so I can plug this straight into the log splitter and uh, that powers the winch. I haven't done a video of that yet, but I will do one soon. And then I just simply have a um, control for in and out or up and down or however we want to see it on the winch itself. So I'll get that set up and show you how it works. So I found that using my picaroon as a as an anchor for the winch hook seems to work pretty well. I'll show you show you how it seems. Let's hope it works.
that seems to work pretty well. <laughs> you mean, if, as long as you're not in a real, real hurry, it, it certainly saves you back. That is the first time it's done that. Of course, when you've got the camera out, it's going to happen, isn't it? Try again. Let's see how wonky that is. Let's see if that pulls out. The, uh, the trick is to put the weight at the far side of the trailer and then it won't tip over, it just makes it even more stable. See, I told you this was my uh, learning experience for me. Did I actually say that? Anyway, this is the first time I've loaded logs with it, so it's not doing too bad so far. The idea of the weights is just to keep the tension on that cable and they seem to have uh, decided that they didn't want to be part of the game anymore. It should be. Of course I wanted them to be removable so that when I use it as a normal winch these things aren't dragging themselves across the floor. But as being removable it means they can fall off. I need to work on this a bit. <sighs> nearly there. No, not nearly there. All this stuff should be off camera, shouldn't it? Oh, you bugger. Spending more effort putting that in than I would be lifting the logs in. Right, he's in. That one's in. And that one's in. All right, I need to work on that a little bit. Anyway, I'm on an iPhone and the battery's probably low already. Okay, just a couple of things that I've learned then. I've only been doing this for about 10 or 15 minutes, but um, this this idea is pretty good. It works. It works well. It seems really pretty strong. I'm, I know that I had one that came out earlier, but that's the only one I've had. 
Um, and I think it stays in there and it stays in pretty good, enough to lift that. Um, <coughs> it's only when you wiggle it that it comes out. So if you don't wiggle it, it's gonna stay in there. The other thing I've learned is basically <laughs> keep it away from anything that it's likely to crush if it falls and keep yourself out of the way. I know that uh, the health and safety <coughs> The gurus out there will say oh this is way too dangerous but it's only as dangerous as you make it if you stay away from it if it's if it falls as long as it can't bounce off something and hit you then um then it's actually a really good tool so the idea is get it up to the height you need before you um, um before you get put it over into the trailer and then if it does happen to come off then um it's not going to damage anything the trailer or or you Anyway, that's a couple of things I've learned. It seems to work pretty good. Well, pulling that out was a success. Uh, that worked rather well. It was stuck down in there. Um, and I was no way going to crawl through and trample on that lot to bring this little piece out. But uh, that's about eight foot long and six or eight inches diameter. So that's worth logging up. It takes a few minutes and we'll have that away. And then that big beast down there, that big crotch piece, uh, we'll probably cut that up down there and then... Um, and that's about 20 inches, 18 to 20 inches across there at that widest part. So I'll have a go on that in a minute. Well, the little crane sure earned its keep today. <clears throat> that's, um, that's a nice little load for us to split. There you go, there's the tree pretty much cleared up. A little pile here for insects and beetles. That's a big thing in this country. People like to leave little piles of uh, rotting wood. There's another little pile there, just for whatever creatures might wish to live there. Time for a quick clean up and see if we can get this uh, trailer load out of here. The Suzuki's doing great. Really pleased with um, how, how that's uh, performing. And um, yeah, better do those tie wraps up look before they get caught under that wheel. So the one casualty from today is the picaroon, lost the tip. Overall, a really good day. The crane, um, I've took the winch off now, but the crane did really well. So all of those logs, apart from one or two of those very top small ones, uh, were loaded with the crane and I didn't have to lift any of them. And so that, so, you know, really that's just a, well, it's a brilliant bit of kit really, isn't it? It sort of helps me not to hurt my back. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's worked. And that's being in the woods does to you. 